month ago, I went through an experience that literally changed my life. And my plea to any of you out there, so you don't have to live the same experience that I went through, is to take some time and really consider what you've actually accomplished in your lifetime, where you've succeeded, how far you've made it, and celebrate that. Be okay with that. Because you know what? We live in a society where for me, I was driven. I had to go further. I had to do more. I had to move to Vancouver. I had to just go, 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 go. I'm not gonna give you a bit of the backstory in terms of why that came about, but I was brought up thinking that I need to do that, that that is the way to be, that I need to prove myself. Count your blessings. Be in the moment. Be okay with what we have. There's many around this world that don't have what we have, yet I live in this world of wanting more. This isn't good enough. That's not good enough. You're not good enough. I'm not good enough. I need to improve. Whoa, like, come on. For me, that ended up me being in an ambulance because I passed out. Because you know what? I just couldn't handle it anymore. And my system said, so long, Glenn. You know what? Next time, I not, might not be so lucky to actually wake up. But what I can tell you is it was the biggest gift for me because now I'm living a life of ease. I'm okay with where I'm at. I'm okay with everything. I don't need anything more. I have a great family. I have a great home. I live in Vancouver, one of the most beautiful places in the world. And I have the job of my dreams. So love your life. Love it because we only have one. And for me, my driven and analytical nature got me to where I am, but going forward, I'm living life a lot differently. Please don't say, Glenn, are you all right? Because you know what I am, I couldn't be any better. Um, just want to send that message out to you. All the best.